each and every animal that we see around has certain special senses that helps them to survive in this ever changing world and today we are going to learn about such animals who are living and surviving on this planet but before that i would like to recite a poem and you have to guess which animal i am talking about once upon a time on earth there lived a huge animal everyone called them kings of the jungles bigger than elephants taller than giraffes they roamed around like monarch of rome but all of a sudden everything changed all of a sudden these kings vanished no one was left not even the younger ones the only thing they left behind were the gigantic skeletons and the eternal legends for the generations to come students can you guess this animal now can you do it yes this is dinosaur long ago this animal lived on earth okay they survived for million of years but all of a sudden they vanished no one knows the real reason someone says that earth was hit by a large external body maybe an asteroid some say it is because of the temperature on the earth it had changed and that's why they uh, got extinct so there are numerous theories okay no one knows the real reason but the thing is if we adjust ourselves with the surrounding only then we can survive okay so today we are going to learn about the adaptations that animals have done to survive in this environment the natural home of an animal is called its habitat what do we call it habitat animals can be grouped according to their habitat okay so animals who live on the lands they can be called as terrestrial animals okay similarly the animals who live in water they can be called as aquatic animals so talking about terrestrial animals animals like tigers lions horses camels live on the land they are called terrestrial animals such animals have legs to move and lungs to breathe they have well developed sense organs and a nervous system to sense the changes in their surroundings some terrestrial animals have sharp teeth with pointed canines and sharp claws to catch their prey like tiger then uh, lions there are numerous examples of such animals these animals have well developed sense organs which help them to look for food in the dark night or by mere movement of their prey conditions on the land is not uniform everywhere it varies from place to place mountain region and the polar regions are very cold animals living there have developed several adaptations to adjust to their climatic conditions the example can be a polar bear polar bear living in the polar region and yak living at high mountains range have a thick coat of fur on their body which protects them from chilling cold animals like walrus seals penguins also live in freezing conditions these animals have a special adaptation called blubber the blubber means thick layer of fat conditions in the deserts are also very harsh here the temperature is very hot during the day but the nights are cold animals living here has to adapt to changing temperature and scarcity scarcity of what food and water camel is the very good example of the animal which has a very well adapted itself 
to the life in the desert. And this is the picture of camel. Have you seen camels? Often they are found in deserts. Sometimes you might also see them in the zoos or on the beaches. Okay, but originally they are from deserts. Camels has a thick skin and very little hair on their body. This thick skin protects it from snotch, scorching sun during the day and also from the nights that are very cold. Camels has a bump as it, on its back. Okay, they have this hump at its back. It can live on its fat in the hump and can survive without food or water for several days. A very special adaptation to combat the winter by many animals is hibernation. Some animals like snake, lizards, frogs, etc. cannot bear the, can, uh, the cold winter. They stuff themselves with lot of woods during the summer and get fat. These animals become inactive during the winter and they sleep. This winter sleep is called hibernation. Then comes the aquatic animals. You might have seen lot of aquatic animals. Animals living in water are called aquatic animals. All aquatic animals are not found in the same type of water. Some live in the seas and some live in the lakes and ponds. Many kind of fish, then snails, snakes are found in fresh water like streams, lakes, etc. While animals like dolphins, shark, then curbs, seals, starfish, jellyfish are found in salty water that is the sea and the oceans. Most of the aquatic animals breathe air dissolved in water through organs called as gills. So most of the fish have gills as their breathing organ. Animals like dolphins and whale, since they come in the mammals, they have lungs for breathing. Aquatic animals have special body shape like a spindle shaped, flattened or disc shape. Dogfish spindle shaped stingray stingray has a flattened shape aquatic animals swim in water they have a special organ called fins or paddles which help them in swimming well that was all for students i hope you learned quite a few things okay if you have any doubts please feel free to ask now some homework questions for you fill in the blanks Animals living on land are called dash animals. Second, most of the aquatic animals breathe air dissolved in water through organs called dash. Dash and dash helps aquatic animals to swim. Then you have to draw two aquatic animals. And lastly, write a short note on dinosaurs. Students, I know that we have not discussed dinosaurs. It is not part of the lesson but you have to look for it the information about dinosaurs from the reference books or any book that you have you can also refer dictionaries or websites that are there okay and write a short note on dinosaurs well that was all for today thanks for attending this session see you during next session with the new topic until then take care bye bye